Report, and this is all you need to know for the moment about our man, Tony Beasley. As Emily said, we're all happy for Bees. There's no doubt about that. His eighth season with the Rangers, he was here with the Jeff Bannister coaching staff and then made it all the way through the Woody coaching staff. He also coached with Washington and Pittsburgh, and he has eight years as a minor league manager, too, 590 and 472 in the minor leagues, and technically he's the 24th manager in Texas Rangers history as so named today. Emily Jones caught up with Bees just a few minutes ago. Thank you very much. Well, Bees, it has been quite the whirlwind, I would assume. Have you been able to kind of take everything in and process what's going on? I'm still kind of processing and, you know, because I've been just here and there ever since I've been told. So I haven't really had a chance to really sit down and and gather my thoughts, but um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for this opportunity. Like I said, it's bittersweet, but at the same time, uh, it's an opportunity to do something that I've been passionate about as well. And uh, I'm thankful that JD and CY thought I was the right person to to lead us to the rest of the way. So hopefully, we can do something special here. What do you want to bring to this team as a manager? You know, I, I want us to to have some grit and I'll play with a little more energy and just enthusiasm. Um, I want players to to feel like they're special, like every every guy. Uh, they feel like he's important and that that he can bring something day in and day out. Um, just the relationship part of it. Um, I'm a relational person, so being able to have the right conversations um, and bring the most out of these guys, I mean, that's, that's my main thing. It's like challenging each guy to to tap into the, the true potential and, and maximizing who they are. Uh, we have to make decisions on a lot of guys, so it's up to us to create the right environment to get the best version of who they are, and then we can make proper decisions. I asked, this, asked you about this earlier. You've been the guy to, the, mm -hmm. that so many of our players have come to over the years. Yeah. Can you still be that guy and be the manager of this team? I think so. I mean, a lot of people, I think, feel like you have to have a wall between yourself and your players. I, I don't agree with that. I mean, a relationship is a powerful thing. And when people trust you and believe in you and you can have honest conversations with them, you can tell them what they're good at, what they're not so good at, and what you expect out of them, and you allow them to do the same to you, like iron sharpens iron in, in that in that situation. So like Martin said in there, he's oh now I'm gonna have to draw a line. He was joking. I was like, No, it's no line. Like I'm the same guy. I'm not gonna change that. Uh so I'm not gonna be stuck in my office. I'm gonna still mingle and, and get around and communicate and talk to the guy. So you know, when you when they love you and care about you and know that you feel the same about them, they're willing to play hard and, and do things for you. Well, Bees, congratulations. Best of luck. We are all rooting for you, that's for sure. Thank you, Em. I appreciate it.